Squadron 7, today is the day. This video needs no introduction, so we'll just get straight into it, the full trailer of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, I'm so, so excited. Okay, the reverse shot of this this time. Stay hidden. Or we will not survive. Gosh, to hear his he voice small. again. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. Oh, that stings. But that Still scene, Kenobi. we'll talk about it. He's gone. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. I want every low life and bounty hunter. Oh man, to squeeze him. is that full on? Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. I am so ready. I'm so ready. OK, let's go through this this trailer really quickly. Of course, we got the reverse shot of the fifth brother and his troops walking down this milk planet, as I'm calling it. And his father. Man, this scene right here stings so much, especially after reading this, this gem of a book. Um, this scene is so reminiscent of the panels from Star Wars 2015 when, you know, Owen shows up to Kenobi's hut, uh, returns all the parts he's gotten for Luke, and he's like, stay out of Luke's life. And it looks like we're going to get some of those panels from that comic. And this is this is just incredible. Low life and bounty. All right. So that looks like for To squeeze him. So from the looks of those scenes so far, Obi-Wan is hesitating to fight with his lightsaber or still keeping it hidden. OK, have no idea who Kumail is playing here. Uh, it looks at first glance like it could be Jedi robes, but I could be mistaken with that. It could be just a regular kind of, you know, over shirt and just a, a, a cloak, but still no. Hey, look, he looks scared. He doesn't look like someone that would be a Jedi, uh, but we'll see. Oh my gosh. All right. So I don't know whether those two scenes are together. Now, at first glance or at first here, it looks like he's facing Vader right then and there. But I'm tempered against these expectations because it looks like behind him could be stormtroopers. But I don't see any clear delineation of a stormtrooper behind him. Um, so it doesn't look like in this scene he is caught or captured. Maybe maybe they are facing each other right now. And Vader has just landed on top of a TIE fighter like he did in Rebels. And he's just like. I'm ready to face you and I cannot I cannot wait for this show. It's going to be hype as hell. Judging from what we saw from that trailer, we're going to get a lot of the journal panels that we got from Star Wars 2015 of Obi-Wan Kenobi's journal, where he is trying to train Luke and Uncle Owen's showing some hesitance with that and even going so far as to say Kenobi stay out of his life and that stinger of a reply like you trained Anakin. And I'm just like, oh, that's got to hurt. Judging by the rest of the trailer, it looks like the Inquisitors are hunting down Kenobi directly or at least purposefully, and they can't seem to get their hands on him. Looks like he's fighting on his own without his lightsaber. What makes sense out of all of this is that he is fighting off of Tatooine. So if Vader and Kenobi end up fighting each other and having their kind of rematch of the century, it would be off of Tatooine so that Obi-Wan 
can go back to Tatooine into hiding. And so he doesn't inadvertently reveal that's where he's been hiding. That'll do it for my reaction to this trailer. I hope you guys are pumped for this. I will be at Star Wars Celebration Anaheim with Darth Chaco, my dyad. We will be doing a live reaction to the first two episodes of the night for Obi-Wan Kenobi. So be sure to subscribe to check that out when that drops on the night of the 27th. Like this video, and as always, thank you to our Squadron 7 members, without which I could not create new content. But that's the end. On to the next one. For Light and Life, we are all the Republic, and may the 4th be with you.